Okay. Got a problem. Let's say you buy your ham fest and you buy an old um little police type radio the motor rolls with you know, no L C D Lurita or anything like this. And the guy tells you can't remember the program for a frequency or not. How do you know? Well, one way to do it is to send it in to get it reprogrammed, or if you got a friend who has reprogram equipment, just go ahead and have it reprogrammed anyway. Second way to do it, hook up a dummy load and get yourself one of these. It's a frequency counter. Um, by the way, a dummy load is a antenna that's not really an antenna. You should never transmit any type of radio without an agenda. Dogs that are playing. But anyway, and what it does is it, it takes a signal and just kind of, I don't exactly know how it works inside, but it takes a signal and makes the radio think it's transmitting, but it actually is not. But you can actually, actually you know what, I don't really know if it works. I don't have any dummy loads. The reason why you would do that is in case it transmits on law enforcement only, or, you know, some frequencies you're not allowed to transmit on. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, so I don't have anything that doesn't have, or I don't have anything, have a radio without, or a dummy load for any radios or anything like that, and I don't really want to do it. It's called a test transmission. Um, at ham radio, you cannot make a transmission without sending your call sign. The exception of to a radio controlled aircraft or you know that kind of thing and normally what you do is if you don't have a dummy load you're doing a test for your radio you just simply say your call sign this is a test transmission you know i've done them in the past just you know case you're not your lcx is a test transmission no need to respond because you're not doing an illegal transmission but you're letting everybody know they don't need to talk to you so anyway so the purpose of this i'm going to use an frs radio um FRS family radio service there's really like no regulations on transmission you don't have any call signs so I can just key this up and not say anything and it's not a big deal real quick on these things um, there's 14 channels or 14 different frequencies this one is who makes this thing? Where is it? Oh, Con Air. I kind of think it's interesting. I think I the only other thing I know made by Con Air is um, hair dryers. But there's also privacy codes. Basically, it's a um, digitally coded squelch, which means only another radio program with that code into it will be able to transmit to this radio. My ham radio actually has the same thing in it. So it's it's kind of neat. So, get my radio out of here so I can actually have something to program into. Let me zoom in on here and I'll show you how this bad boy works. This is also good for testing your equipment. Or like I'm doing, finding the frequency out of something that you need. Um, buttons here, you got pop maze buttons. You get power on, the range, 3 gigahertz, 300 megahertz. I always kept it on 3 gigahertz and it's worked fine. Hold and gate and a little calibration thing up here. So we're going to turn it on. And you can see it's slipping through frequencies. I'm going to keep the antenna collapsed. I don't get a lot of random stuff. Uh, Hold, push hold, it'll just freeze or whatever frequency is currently displayed so that you can write it down and put it to your radio. Gate, it basically just slows the display. You can also use this as a bug, dis bug sweeper. That one's really slow. There it goes. 
to keep it on that. But anyway. Zoom out a little bit so you can actually see this thing run. I'll fire this thing up. Turn it on down. Okay. Deep here. There we go. At 462.562. Oh. That is... Down one. So you bring your radio, your scanner, whatever. You have. Power that on. Back with a lash on for scar. And four six two point five six two. I'm having a problem here because I have to change the frequency step in here, so... Let me do that real quick. Okay, the closest thing can get is 462.560. That should be enough. I'm just going to push the call button. There we go. You also have on this thing a power readout down there. So that you can see the power. Not real good, but you can see a range setting so you can actually test your radio to see you know if you're actually transmitting as far as you could be. Again, the easiest way to have another friend with the radio go out there, but um, interesting little fun thing you can actually do with this when, you know, they say your your computer hard drive is, you know, like a 2.8 megahertz, you can test it. Um, now, that thing, it's, this is, um, really fun for it, and I don't really know why I do it, I'm just a nerd. Um, that garage door opener, and you get the frequency it operates on. You can actually listen to it. Um, stuff like that. Rock control cars, planes, and stuff. So, there you go. That's a frequency cutter. I can't remember where I bought it at or how much I paid for it. Bought it on a, on a catalog, though. No? See you later.